We have some breaking news for you tonight. Playboy founder Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner passed away yesterday at home at the Playboy Mansion. He was pronounced dead of natural causes. Playboy founder Hugh Hefner was a civil rights and First Amendment trailblazer, but he was also divisive to some folks. Some felt he empowered women, others said he exploited them. Love him or loathe him, Hugh Hefner left a mark. I first met Hugh Hefner April 5th, 1995. I was at USC and playmate Lisa Marie Scott handed me this flyer. She even signed the back. At the event, I got to take a photo with Hugh Hefner. And he signed my book. As well as plastics from my pinball machines. Later, I met Kimberly Conrad Hefner and got her to sign my back glass. In a way, these pinball machines led to my first visit to the mansion. In my filmmaking book, Rebel Without a Deal, I wrote October 18th, 2003. Deanna and I went to the Playboy Mansion for a charity event. This is actually our second visit. The first was a private tour about two years ago. It was arranged through one of Break Time's customers who works at the mansion. I used to own this game room retail store. We sold pinball machines, pool tables, and video games. And this guy and his girlfriend walk in one day and she falls in love with this Miss Pac-Man that I have on the floor for sale. I'm chatting with him and I discover that he works for the Playboy Mansion. So I tell him that if he can get me a tour of the mansion, I'll give him the Miss Pack. And that's how these pictures were taken. Upon entrance to the mansion, this is the occasional table that is immediately on the right. My hair and expression are priceless. These stairs lead to Hef's bedroom, but the center walkway leads to the theater room. This was all the projection equipment that was used to run the screenings. And of course, the giant screen where many of Hollywood's latest blockbusters were screened as well as Hef's favorite, Casablanca. Deanna takes a rest on Hef's favorite interview couch. The game room, complete with a 35th anniversary Playboy pinball, a Defender, Missile Command, Space Invaders pin, a 25th anniversary Playboy pinball, and no game room is complete without Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Centipede. Here, Deanna feeds one of the many animals that live in the mansion zoo, the famous Playboy Oasis, complete with waterfall and of course, the grotto. If only these walls could talk, they'd say, this grotto was built by cementing rocks over a dirt mound and then digging the mound out. Of course, that's not the only mound in here. Look, Deanna relaxes in the corner. On that first visit, I stole a few mementos. Hugh Hefner matches, a Playboy napkin, and the creme de la creme, a notepad, with Hugh M. Hefner on it. This is his personal notepad, isn't that cool? As stated in my filmmaking book, we did visit the Playboy Mansion a second time. This time it was for a wildlife way station fundraising event. I've always been fascinated with Hugh Hefner, initially because at 27 years old, he took $600, which was about two months salary, and created a $110 million empire. But the mansion is what really captured my imagination. I had never seen anything like it. Game room, home theater, it definitely set an ideal in my mind. I mean, if that guy could take 600 bucks and get that, why couldn't I? <laughs> He's giving you the stinky face. He's giving you the stinky face. They are so freaking cute. Today, I do live behind a gate, with a pool, a home theater, and of course a game room, which you need an official Playboy Club key to enter. You know, I never consciously modeled my life after Hugh Hefner or tried to model the Playboy Mansion, but clearly, it's had its effect on me. Thank you very much. Uh, all of this is very much uh, you know, something that we feel like deeply about. It. We live on one small planet, Take care of uh, the little creatures.
And I think that's what all of you folks are doing here. So thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.